Yo, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ndefon Tui, and on this channel, I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. If at the end of the video you find it useful or entertaining in, in any way, um, please make sure to consider subscribing and giving the video a like as that helps uh, the channel grow. All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about types of needles and um, when you should use what size of needles. Um, I will give you guys a brief introduction on types of needles that I have personal experience with but at the end of the day we are going to focus on universal needles which is what I use all the time on this channel being that I do uh, mostly West African um, style clothes on this channel um, but there are other type of needles that I have come across uh, the first one would be ball point needles now I've used this when, um, when I've had to sew um, a lot of jersey a lot of jersey um, fabric uh, but that's just mainly for sewing jersey the 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 shape at the end of it is is not like universal needles it's not as um it's a bit concave at the end that's what i can remember about that needle but that needle is specialized for sewing jerseys because of how you know jersey is woven as a fabric all right so it helps the needle penetrates the jersey without busting its way through if that makes any sense another needle is um, stretchy needles now this has resembles the um, ballpoint needle just a bit but this, this needle is meant for sewing um, stretchy very very stretchy fabrics like lycra like um, some types of crepe um, you know fabrics that are really 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 stretchy the fabric sews in such a way that the needle sews the fabric in such a way that it does not skip stitches like when you try to use universal needles to sew lycra then uh, another type of needle that i've um, used before well, is a needle that is made specifically for sewing denim the needle has a very very sharp point so, so if you have to be careful when you are using universal needles so that they don't prick you you need to be extra careful when you are using denim needles because most times they are very very thick because they come in in mostly big sizes because of the weight of denim and the point is very very sharp down if you are not careful with your fingers it's definitely going to penetrate your finger very very easily um so yeah that one has a very very sharp point and yeah there are other types of needles like um specialized needles just like a twin twin needle that's used mostly for sewing um stretchy fabrics like um like when you are sewing t-shirts and you if you look at the hem of your t-shirt you see that there are two stitches and at the back is doing a sort of weave um, there's a special needle for doing that but mind you that needle goes along with a specialized machine for sewing um, t-shirts so yeah that needle has a, an entire machine that's dedicated for being able to sew such um, garments so that's a brief overview of the needles that i've had you know some experience with but now down to the main one that i know that most of you that watch this channel use um, those are universal needles so this needle has a very wide range of um, around from size 8 all the way to a size 20 uh, at least these are the, the the needles that i have seen from a size 8 to a size 20 but i've never really seen of the the need to use a size 8 because most times they are a bit too fragile and brittle so i most times the only the smallest size of needles that i have used is a size 10 personally i've had, had i've used a size 8 but i've not made an entire piece out of a size 8 because the, Thing was just too flimsy so i end up using for the smallest set of needles that i use personally it's a size 10. so i use this for sewing very very fine fabric like very 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 light fine silk um, organza and chiffon those are the only times where i'm going to use a size 10 needle but mind you by the time if for example i want to do um, a lot of gathers uh, out of chiffon and plant it in between um, you know two pieces two two layers of cotton i'm not going to be using a size 10 all right for that i might move up to a size 16. then next size that's size 11 and size 12 i use this when i'm sewing very very light cotton for example if you want to use very light breathable cotton for example if you want to sew a men's shirt i might use between a size 11 and a size 12 because i want the um, holes that the needles would make not to be too big so that's not to make my stitches so visible um, so if I'm sewing very very light cotton I might use between a size 11 but preferably a size 12 um, if you are sewing um, silk like raw silk a size 12 if you are making like a shirt or a dress out of all raw silk I would say you go ahead to use a size 12 to make that as well a shirt dress so all right now the next size that I use is a size 14 and I use this most times if I'm sewing something like velvet, light cotton, 
um, and uh, light, um, um, not light, and linen. Yes, I can't remember the name linen. And linen material. So in this case, I'm going to use a size 14. Um, linen is good for making stuff like tunics, and you, you know, stuff like that's very, very breathable. I really love sewing linen because once you press it with an iron, it lays very smooth. But that's by the way. Um, if you are sewing linen, make sure to use a size 14. If you are sewing velvet, and you are not, you know, adding padding to it or anything. Yeah, yeah, it's also fine. You can also use a size 14. And also, general purpose, if you are sewing cotton, let's say you are sewing Ankara, and you are making like a, a, a shirt out of Ankara, um, like a kaftan or something, where you are not going to be ironing a lot of interfacing onto, a size 14 is going to still work as well. Then the next needle is a size 16. Now, I don't really use this all the time. I use this mostly um, if I'm making like a jean, um, a jean dress, that's a dress out of denim, or if I'm sewing corduroy, I really love sewing corduroy, it feels very, very luxurious and rich. If I'm sewing corduroy or light denim, then I'm going to use a size 16. All right, so these are the, um, besides that, what does that size? I really don't use a size 16, except I'm sewing those types of material because of um, the holes that they need to leave. It's just good enough and it's not going to bust open the um, fabric as much as a bigger size needle would. Now, to one of my favorite sizes, a size 16, um, sorry, a size 18. Um, for size 18, I use size 18 for sewing everything. Most of the things that you've seen uh, me sew on this channel were made on size 18 needles. Most times, if, I, if I'm buying needle in case of I want to make something later on, I'm going to be buying a size 18. It's like a general purpose type, type needle. So if the universal needle is like general purpose needle, size 18 is the general purpose needle in the general purpose needle type. I don't know if you understand. Um, I'm going to be using size 18 if I'm making um, a, a dress, pencil dress out of cotton fabric, if I'm making anything out of Ankara, if I'm sewing Lycra, if I'm sewing anything, if I'm going to be sewing chiffon that will be planted, maybe if I'm going to make a chiffon sleeve and plant it into um, an Ankara dress that's basically cotton, I'm going to be using a size 18. If I'm making, you know, most of the things I make on this channel, so general purpose, a size 18 is going to work. Just don't use it for, for example, if you're going to be sewing a chiffon shirt, don't use a size 18. But for anything where you know, the, the fabric is not too light, or even if it is light, if it will be joined to something else that is thick, then a size 18 is your guy. So now a size 18 will sew, like I said, will sew anything before 18, but don't use it for something that you would sew from with like a size 8 to a size 14, um, a size 12, sorry. But for if you are sewing anything I have mentioned from si after size 12 up to size uh, 18 itself, a size 18 is going to be, like I said, general purpose needle. Now, uh, the last needle I'm going to talk about is a size 20. Now, this is this is your this is your this is heavy artillery. So, if you want to to bust through something, let's say you are trying to make a uh, corset or something, and you've you know built the body, and you are going to attach um, you are going to attach velvet to the top, but you've padded the velvet with wadding and este, and you've padded the lining. You've done, you know, the dress is going to be one to one serious or and bear or something. In that case, if you are trying to stitch and your needles keep on busting, you pull out a size 20. A size 20 is going to cut through anything. As long as you've dialed in the top of your machine just right, you know, your size 20 is going to bust through it. As long as you are not giving sewing words can you know not even fit into your under your presser foot, then maybe that's not have a problem. But as long as you fit into your presser foot, no matter how many layers, a size 20 is probably going to bust through it. So you can use it for when you are sewing very, very thick denim. If you've padded something and you've layered fabric on fabric on fabric, a size 20 is going to be what you want to use to sew something like that. All right? And um, if you know that you are going to be sewing a size, um, something that has heat padding and all of that, instead of stressing yourself and breaking your heart, once you know that you're going to start putting heavy parts together, just pull out a size 20 and your needle is probably not going to break as long as whatever you are layering, uh, whatever you are layering it fits under your presser foot. All right, so that's pretty much it from me. So if you've had an issue with needles, I really do hope this video is going to help you. There's no way this video doesn't help you. If you are still having the issues with your needle breaking, then I think you should have your machine checked out. Um, um, yeah, but if you've watched this far, thank you for watching. I'm going to see you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like the, if you like the video. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Do have a very lovely day. Bye-bye.